Well, this lock screen's kind of boring, but this lock screen's starting to look a little cooler, and this one's definitely fun to have in your back pocket. And this one is coming from Resolume. Stick around, and we're gonna have some fun with lock screen appearances today. So this is my lock screen for my show file at Tomahawks, which is an axe throwing bar music venue that I light shows at. And I have a pretty badass logo, so I always wanted my lock screen to match when I'm away from the console. Just something to make front of house look a little nicer while everything is locked. And the importance of the desk lock is when this is locked, people can go up to the console, they can click buttons, and if they don't know how to unlock it, nothing will happen. So F9 is the keyboard shortcut to lock and unlock. And by default, your lock screen is set under settings, settings again, and then user configuration. And when there's no appearance selected, you will get just this blue screen. And there's always going to be the message that says desk locked. But when you assign custom appearances, it will allow you to over have images overlaid and just look a little nicer and neater. And so if you want, you can just drop an appearance pool. If you just want a color that's different than blue, we'll do this kind of purpley. Technically, all you have to do is set your appearance to that. And it'll get you a different color. But if you want to drop an image over top, the first thing that you'll need to do is drop the image you want. So this is a PNG file of the logo. So you need to go to your MA home folder, which on the Mac is just under the regular Mac home folder. And on Windows, I'll drop an on-screen directory. Then your software version, then shared, resource, and then for images, we'll just drop this logo right into the images folder. And then I'm going to scroll down because I also want to do in this case, this is the little Pedro <laughs> raccoon. I had this in one of my other show files, and it was just something real fun to get to throw up and make fun of the audio engineers for not having the ability to do on their console. But we can drop this under the videos library folder. We'll just drop this GIF right here. And then back in MA3, I've got one pool is the videos pool. One pool is the images pool. So I'm going to right click here. We're going to import an image. There's our Tomahawks PNG logo. We're going to import that, close it. We'll do for the video pool, import, and then import our friend Pedro, because you can do videos if you want to. I'm going to give this a label, because otherwise it's transparent. This, I know what it is, because the Tomahawks logo is there. So now we need to drop this onto an appearance. And you can see the one that I already had created is right here. So we'll just create a blank appearance. We want to turn our alpha up so that it's not completely transparent. If you turn it to 100, nothing will shine through. And that's an option if you want. And I kind of want it to be a dim red. But now we can grab image, drop tomahawks over top. And I'm going to add a little bit of transparency so that it shines through. But now all we need to do now that we have this appearance is go back to our settings, user config set this is our appearance and when we lock now we have it if i come in and i set this alpha to 100 percent you can see that nothing behind it shines through if i set that alpha at zero percent you don't get any of the red so that's what that alpha value is shining through so i like it at about 75 percent where there's a little bit beneath but the cool thing about appearances is it's all your own preference and you can do it however you want. Now to take this a step further, I'm going to create another appearance. And in this case, instead of an image, I'm going to do a video and we'll do our Pedro here. We'll set our alpha at about 50% and I'll let this one be kind of a cyan or a light blue. And now we'll go back to our user configuration and set our appearance to Pedro. And if you want something fun, <laughs> I uh, this is always a party trick that I used to do on one of my other show files where I used to work. It was always fun to have people come over and to throw up the Pedro effect. Lastly, one of my favorite party tricks with appearances and lock screens 
is if we go down to the video pool, you can also do an NDI feed coming in. And so right now I have an instance of Resolume just doing this little blade, whichever, um, little effect. And so I'm going to call this Resolume NDI. And we can drop that as an appearance if you hit the right button. And I'm going to let it be alpha 100 because otherwise the transparency will poke through. And if I don't get too far ahead of myself and I change it out to this, now our lock screen is actually the NDI feed coming in from Resolume. So that's something fun that you can do. I have never had any instability or problems running an NDI lock screen, but it's not something that I would per se recommend in the most mission critical environments. But that said, on the flip side, I've never had a problem with it. It's always been rock solid stable. My personal concern might begin and end with me and it's not a problem at all, but it is something fun that you can do and something unique if you want. So here's a quick look at the various lock screen appearances in MA3. I always have a really good time messing around with them while I'm waiting for a show to begin because doors are open. But if you like this content, hit subscribe, stick around. I'm going to keep producing little MA3 tips and tricks. Leave a comment if you have any questions or have any ideas for a video, and I'll see you in the next one.